Well, shortly before we went on air this evening, I spoke to Niamh O'Connor, who had a horrendous experience with filler when she got a Brazilian butt lift. I began by asking her what happened. So I, I felt really, really sick, um, but I don't know, something in me was telling me that was just a tummy bug or mm. it would pass. Um, but it got to the point where I couldn't walk. Like my leg was stiff. It was, it was hard for me to even walk. So by that point I said, okay, let's go into hospital. And immediately I was put onto a ward um, and there was doctors running around me. It was very scary. So mm. that's when I knew there was something wrong when immediately I didn't even have to wait in A&E. And um, what were the symptoms in your body? I mean, mm -hmm. we have some photographs as well. I mean, mm -hmm. explain to people who don't know what happened to you. Yeah, so the first symptom that I had was vomiting um, and just an upset stomach and a really high temperature, like 40 degrees, um, and sweats, high heart rate, um, slow breathing. Um, just in and out of consciousness as well. I didn't realise at the time, but I was falling asleep standing up nearly. I wasn't able to stand up, but I was falling asleep constantly. Um, and I was very disorientated, but that kind of came more towards the third day. Um, but the first symptoms was was uh, upset stomach and really high temperature. So could easily be mistaken for mm. um, a tummy bug or some other sickness. So by the time you got to St. James's Hospital after three days, you were really sick and it was from the injections you'd got, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. So by the time I had gone to the hospital, it was um, a situation that if I didn't go when I went, it could have ended up a lot worse than it did. Um, I was really, really sick when I got brought to the hospital. I didn't realise how sick I was, but there was doctors and nurses running around me. Um, it was a really severe form of cellulitis and I had gone down into the tissues of my skin. Um, so I was very lucky that I got the treatment that I got and I got it when I got it. And if you hadn't maybe got the treatment when you got it, Neil, yeah. I wonder how sick you could have got to the doctor's field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My fear is that if I had gone one or two more days, I could have gone into septic shock. I had all of the typical symptoms of uh, the beginning of sepsis. So thankfully, something in me told me to go to the hospital and thankfully I listened to that. And. Did you have any warnings when you were getting these fillers that this could happen to you? No, no, absolutely not. No, I was told it was 100% safe. I think a lot of girls are being told that it's 100% safe and that it's the safer option as opposed to having surgery when realistically there's no safe option with put, putting a foreign uh, body into your body. There's never a safe option. There's always risk. And I think when it's being done by people who aren't medical professionals, that just heightens the risk by a hundred times. And I know when we were speaking earlier before this interview, you feel it's really important that young girls, mm -hmm. that they are warned about what can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As someone who uh, spends a lot of time on social media myself, I feel it's so easy to be influenced and I have been influenced so many times uh, to get fillers, um, to have surgery. I've had work done. I wouldn't sit here and say I haven't, but... Yeah. Um, the influence social media has on young girls is so powerful. So I think it's really important that there is people on social media talking about the dark side as well and being open about their experience. So did you think that documentary on Monday about the industry, did you think that was important? I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was amazing. Um, you know, I said, people were saying it was scaremongering. I don't think that it was scaremongering enough. I think there should be more scaremongering when it comes to things like fillers and you know how unregulated the industry in Ireland is. Um, I thought it was an amazing documentary and it's great to see girls now having information on the risks involved because if I knew that, maybe it would have stopped me doing what I did.